A and J, take one. Hi, this is Brian from AJ Cycles. Just wanted to walk through installing a Nitron TBT cartridge kit uh, in the forks of a 2022 and up Triumph Speed Twin 1200. So this particular kit is the 25 millimeter kit. Um, they offer a 22 millimeter kit and then a 25 millimeter pro kit, which just has some fancy coatings on it on all the internals. Uh, all the kits are gonna install exactly the same way. Uh, so unfortunately, these forks are already disassembled. So I'm just gonna real quick just talk through what the disassembly process looks like here. So this is probably the easiest inverted cartridge kit install out there. So you're gonna take a six millimeter Allen, put it in there. Uh, we use a half inch impact and they come out all the time for us. We loosen that up, we flip it over, we hold the bottom. Uh, we take this, we put it in our vise, take the fork cap off, and then literally all that just gets thrown in the garbage, empty it out. Um, you don't have to completely disassemble the fork tubes, you don't need to do new fork seals in it. Um, by all means, you can if you want to while you're in there. Uh, there's one other thing that you do need to do on this kit is, there's like a little rubber stop in there for the lower. Uh, we take that out with a pick tool, so I don't know if you can see that in there, but we just yank that out of there, so that comes out. You know, clean it out, get all the old fork oil out there, and it'll be ready to go. But you don't want to just let this fall out because it will fall out. Now, if you do want to put, Nitron does give you this uh, you know, little suspension to check your sag in the front or travel in the front. Uh, you can put that on or you can just put a, a zip tie on there, which is what we do. So uh, this is already on this one, so that's how that's going to go. So I'm just going to walk through some of the tools that you need to do this install. Uh, you're going to need like a pull-up rod stop for the cartridge. Uh, you're going to need a pull-up rod, so we use the Motion Pro one. Uh, fork oil level tool. Uh, we use this fancy Race Tech one. Uh, we use this one at the night on Olin's training. Uh, it's a million times better than anything else out there. Uh, by all means, like, you can use the Motion Pro or the Progressive ones with a little suction cup thing. Those work too, much cheaper. Uh, we have these fancy plastic line sockets. I don't even think they're made anymore, but this is from Blue Point. Um, so that when we use that on a tool when we're tightening it or adjusting it, uh, it doesn't scratch it up. We do use a uh, thin wrench, it just makes the whole job easier. So this, this particular kit is a 19 millimeter that you need. And a couple other miscellaneous sockets, uh, but that's like the real core tools to doing this. All right, so we're going to start with the compression side. Uh, we need to I'll put the cartridge kit down into the fork tube. I'm just going to lay that here for right now. And then we have Nitron gives you brand new copper o ring. And then we put a little bit of red Loctite on there. And then you kind of just got to get this started by hand. You always do it by hand. This one hooked right up right away. Kind of walkie tools. Just gonna kind of zip that in. Not going crazy. Just snugging it right now. And then we will torque that down uh, later on. I believe it's 25 newton meters on that bolt. So to kind of do the rest of the assembly job, it's just way easier to use the axle in here. And then we have these aluminum jaws from Walton in our regular vise. Um, we also have this fancy motion pro vice over here, um, but this, the way these lowers are, it's hard to kind of get it to hold it nice and clean. So, all right, so we've got this set up in our vice here, nice and tight. Everything is fully collapsed. Uh, we're going to start with some, top this off with some, you know, we use the Nitron, we also have this on our site, Nitron O2 synthetic fork oil. This is actually made by Silicone. So we're going to start by just, you know, filling this up a good amount. Not all the way to the top, but I kind of go until you can almost see some up in there. So now we're going to put our Motion Pro tool on here. 
And um, you know, for anyone, this is a Type A kit, so it tells you, you know, what type of insulation. There's just generic instructions out there for uh, these Nitron kits, so that's why I made this video to make it a little more specific. So uh, the recommendation is, you know, pump up the outer tube 15 times. Uh, and then we're going to pump, we're going to fill up that actual cartridge inside. So you'll feel this start to get progressively, you know, you kind of feel the resistance against it. When it's going in on the compression side, when we do the rebound side, you'll feel it as you're pulling up. Um, so as long as you have enough fluid in there that it's able to fill this up, uh, like I said, you're going to feel that resistance there. So we're kind of going to let this settle for a few minutes just to let some bubbles settle down. You know, we kind of disturb this fluid, so we just let this settle for a little bit here. And then Nitron is going to give you specific instructions um, with every kit, and these are customized, you know, for what you request. So if you order a set of these from myself or any of you dealer, they're going to ask you for a rider weight. Uh, if there's a passenger involved, uh, what kind of riding do you like to do? Is this for a track bike? Is this for just cruising on the weekends? Is this for off-road use? And what you'll see on here is uh, just a couple of key things that are specific to your kit. One is the spring rates. So you see here, this is 8.25 newton meters. So the way they're getting to 8.25 is they're going to give you one 8 newton meter spring and one 8.5 newton meter spring. So if it's 8.5, 8.5, they're going to be both 8.5. If it's 9, they're going to be both 9s. If it's 8.75, it's going to be a 9 and a 8.5. So just don't be freaked out if the springs are on the same rate because they're trying to achieve an end rate of 8.25 newton meters for this setup. Uh, the next is the spring preload, so eight turns. That's on the top of the cap after we do the assembly. You're gonna take the cap all the way out to the negative side and then go in eight full turns. That's kind of the recommendation of where they're pretty confident that you're gonna get to the proper sag of you know, about a third of travel on there. So that's what they've set this up to is that that should give you that proper set. But you're always going to want to confirm that once you put it on a bike. Uh, you also have your air gap. This is the key thing, 140 millimeters. So that's the next step in this process here. So you'll see this nice race tech tool it actually has a built-in measuring tool here. We're going to go to 140 on here. And now that is set. So on the other ones that have like a little adjuster, you just slide up and down. You know, I think it has the markings too. We just want to measure out 140. And then there's two more things on here. Base compression, base rebound. So these are, they're recommending you kind of start in the middle here. 12 clicks out on compression, 14 clicks out on rebound. Again, that's going to be in the top of the cap. Go all the way tight this time. All the way in. This is compression. This is telling us 12 clicks. You'll hear those clicks. You don't want to force this close. All right, so that's at 12. But during assembly, I'm going to keep this fully out. So keep everything fully loose on this. It'll just make your life easier putting it together. All right, so now we've got our air gap is 140 millimeters. We've got this set to 140 millimeters. We're going to come in here. And you'll hear that's going to set the fork level height down from the top. 140 millimeters and you kind of hear that like sucking a straw dry if that means you're good here so this is all freshly clean stuff so we can reuse this oil so I just put it right back into my bottle so now we've properly set the air gap all right so on this kit the order is going to be plastic spacer with a hole facing downwards fork spring and like I said if they're mismatched either one doesn't matter at least as far as I know, it doesn't matter. We're going to slide that down on there. We're going to put the spring. And then there's another spacer here. This sits inside the spring. And it goes up into the fork cap. All perfectly machined. All right, so this is going to go on the spring. And then we're going to put the cap on. And this is the part where you're going to need a second set of hands. Um, you could use some sort of spring compressor in here to compress this. Um, I just prefer to use my two, my two, the two other mechanics at the shop to help me. 
All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to pull the damper rod up. Danny's going to push down on that, and I'm going to slide our tool in. Like I said, I've custom made this. I've opened it up a little bit. It's a race tech one to get underneath the nut there. Um, so you'll see this is definitely a two-person job. Uh, we're just going to go right underneath that, and there we go. All right, so we've got that all held up. So now that we've got this all secured, this is holding the spring and everything else down. I'm going to take this off. And now we're going to put our fork cap tool on. Uh, no Loctite on this. We just heard this down into here. There is a torque spec for it. All right, so that's just going to go on hand tight for now. And then we're going to pull this stop out of there. All right, and then you'll see the way this is made here. And you can get a regular wrench in there too. Um, but this is meant to, you know, kind of it's, it's put the wrench in there to kind of hold this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tighten the preload cap onto the, to the, to the cartridge. All right, so we are now going to tighten uh, this whole assembly here. So the torque spec is 20 new meters. We've set that on our torque wrench. Again, using my plastic line socket here. Lock that in there. And right, we're good there. All right, so the next step is now to slide that up and start threading this in there. So I've kind of gotten that as, as snug as I can get it by hand. There is an O-ring in there. Um, if you don't remove those rubber sleeves on this particular model, uh, you're going to have a really hard time getting the cap tightened up. It kind of bottoms out on you. So that's why we take these out on this kit. All right, so I've gotten that fully tight. And then we're going to move it over to our other vise here to clamp it and actually torque down that top cap. All right, so I've moved it over to the other vise. I have torqued the top cap with the special nitron tool with the three pins. Um, you could probably get away with just using a regular um, you know, dowel pin tool, some sort of tool. Uh, this cap is like, this tool is like 100 bucks. Uh, 10 millimeters on the top, and then I torqued the bottom bolt with 25 millimeters. Uh, this is now ready to install into the bike. Um, I'd like to do a little shakedown of this just to make sure like that the compression adjustment is working before I put it back on the bike. Uh, I'm just going to kind of show you how I do that real quick. Alright, so we are on the compression side, so I always just like to do kind of a little test here before I go put it back on the bike. Um, compression is fully soft and this kind of just presses down nice and easy here. Um, you don't have no real dampening going on. I take compression. Go all the way hard. Pretty sure it's 24 clicks compression and rebound on these. So that's all the way hard. And this is visibly harder to push down now. right side of the forks. Um, so RR compression on the left side. Um, just kind of wanted to show up here the adjustments. Rebound and compression around the inside. They give a recommended setting of 14 clicks out for base rebound. So you go all the way in until it stops. You're probably hearing these little clicks. That's stopped. Don't want to force it. So 14 clicks out, 
that's now set per the spec. I found I wanted to just always do a test, like I showed you on the compression side, how all the way out, kind of push it down easily, fully, fully hard, hard to push down. The rebound side is a little, a little more interesting to watch. So I've got this fully soft. All right, so I've got Ryan here. He's gonna show, he's gonna push down the fork and just see how quickly that springs back up. And then we're gonna go full tight on this. So you kind of hear it working, the fluid moving through the fork, that's perfectly normal. Um, but you see how slowly that kind of retracts on it. So that shows that we're working. So we're gonna set that one up at the base setting uh, and then these are gonna get shipped back to the customer. So that's it, we've you know, finished installing that cartridge kit. Now it's ready to go back on the bike. Uh, in the comments, since I didn't actually go through the part of removing this and reinstalling it on the bike, I will list out all the torque specs for everything, for when you're reassembling this for triple tree, upper, lower, triple trees, axle, pinch bolts. Uh, but I hope you found this informative and it really is one of the easier kits to install. Um, and they're all like this. So the Nitron, the Nitron kit is the one that we're really selling a lot of. And you know, like I said, I recommend that 25 millimeter kit. They made a 22 millimeter kit, which is normally for 41 millimeter forks. Uh, they kind of just wanted a, a cheaper alternative out there for people. That is, it's the same as what every other kit is out there. The 22 to 25 just gives you more control, bigger components inside. Like I said, that Pro kit just adds some extra coatings on there, some DLC coatings and stuff like that on all the internal components just to make it even you know, more frictionless in there. So if you have any questions, hit us up. Ask questions in the comments. Hit us up on our website. Uh, Email is info at ajcyclesny.com. And uh, if you like the video, um, we're starting some new content here. You know, give us a like, give us a follow, and uh, you're going to see more tech videos like this coming in the near future.